we're looking at the book of uh, Psalms chapter number 89 and verse number 19 are you there? you once spoke in uh, a vision to your loyal ones and said Omulundi gumu wayogera mukole sewa eri abantu bo abatukuvu abesimu and said no yogera anti I have laid help upon one that is mighty mpaddo buyambi eryoyo omulwanyi i have exalted one chosen out of the people erangulumiza omu okuva mu bantu this one is uh, another good interpretation says I've exalted one chosen from the people and the other second part says I've granted help to a warrior and the other first part says once you once spoke in a vision to your loyal ones and said verse number 20 says i found david my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him. Nama futa gange ama tukuvu nga mufuseko. With whom with whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. Irangwa kuyo omukono gwange gunamu nyweza ira gunamu wamanyi. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Now tonight in the next few minutes I just want to share with you something about the characteristics of a champion. The characteristics of a champion. The the word champion comes, comes from uh, a Hebrew word and it simply means the chosen. Each time you hear the word champion in the Hebrews are saying the chosen. Appointed, appointed set apart consecrated for a divine cause and now I'm going to give you five characteristics of a champion in the next few minutes and then I will shout shortly and we pray champions are, are chosen for battle yeah. Yeah. they are chosen for a battle God appoints you and God chooses you to be the only one. Katonda kulondo bayo era na kulonda obero mu yekka. Graced and empowered. Awere dwechisa na yamba ziwamanyi to fight that battle. Okulwana olutalo olwo. Are you hearing me? Ompulira. Let me make it more clear. You are the only one 
wewe ka omuntu omu appointed alonde dua yo mubanji and given grace no wewe chisa to fight that battle in that family okulwa no lutalo lwo mu family yo can i hear somebody say amen kampulira amina ezito you know sometimes you may be wondering why you are the only person struggling in the family umanyoruso yizo kwebuza lwachigwa muntu yeka alafubana atawana mu family ye wamwe the other day i met a lady ulina sinka no mochia in dar es salaam e dar es salaam and she told me nangamba bwati i don't know why tisimanyirwachi in my family mu family ye fe all of them are tall bona bona bawanvu and light atenga beru i'm the only one who is short and yes. black zenze ko mumpi nganadugala i don't know Wow. And I told her you are so special. <laughs> so different from all the others. And you are the champion of the family. Can I hear somebody say amen? Not the battles. It is only you to fight them. When you try to run away from them you wasting your time ngabonogeza ko zeba la moziduke ojja kubo yono na bisera you are chosen walondebwa that specific battle molo talolo olwenja wolo and if you do not fight it nobody is going to fight it for you enabo talulwana teri mulala agenda dukulwanira some other battles entale zimwenda they are specifically for you to fight zo zale tebwanga gweke nyini gwali no kuzirwana and when you fight them enabo zirwana you qualify obo sanira to be a champion okufuke ya wangula can i hear somebody say Amen. Number two, champions are intercessors. They are intercessors. They stand in the gap for others. They are happy when others are benefiting. Boba sanyuka ngomuntu omulala yafukifunyemu. When other people are progressing, they feel good. Abantu abalanga beyongera maso boba wulira bulunji. They stand in the gap because the word intercessor. Bayimirira mu kituli kube chigambo okwegayirira. It is two words in one. Chirimu ebigambo bibiri mu chigambo chimu. It has the word inter. Chirimu ekigambo chetuyita inter. Which means in between and then it has the word session which means conversation or talking or conversing amen. amen so we normally know or every one of us know that when we talk about intercession we are talking about somebody who stand in the gap for others but this word goes beyond that it also means somebody who stand in for the problem of other people it may be through prayer it may be through finances or encouragement you stand in the gap for others so champions they don't do not feel bad when a brother is prospering they feel good they feel happy when others are winning they bless others they feel happy when they are blessing others in the early days people worked for honor they worked for honor and respect they worked for honor and respect these days people work for money if somebody 
Omuntu omu. is a doctor and is charging a lot of money they call him a good doctor he's a good doctor because he's charging a lot of money but in the bible days the people who helped the others they were the people respected they were the people honored these days they honor people with money in the early days they honored people who stood in for others. Can I hear somebody say amen? Look at your neighbor, your neighbor, I will stand for you. I know one of these days I'm going to stand for you. Number three, champions die hard. Are you hearing me? Amen. Oh my God, let me make it more clear. Somebody is about to catch this. Champions die hard. It is not easy for them to die. No wonder you have gone through a lot of challenges a lot of enemies but you are still here can I hear somebody say amen and you are going nowhere you are still here every battle that comes your way year 2020 you shall overcome I don't look at any failure in this house. And I hear God say the reason why the battle was purposely coming for you challenges coming for you is because you are a champion. The spirit of a champion is upon your head. Can I hear somebody say amen? Number four, they do not end, but they finish. They do not end, they finish. You can end while not finished. Are you hearing me? So champions, they have a nature that they do not and whatever they try to do until they accomplish they do not stop on the way they do not give up they do not stop even when there are a lot of challenges champions do not end but they finish I prophesy that tonight the Lord is giving you strength to finish what you started I said God is giving you ability to finish what you started because the spirit of a champion champion rest upon your head. Number five. Champions do not concern their lives with irrelevant things. They don't waste their time on things which do not make everlasting value. Champions waste their time on things that make value. Things that do not add on them. They do not waste their time talking about other people simple things cannot set track them oh I will stop doing this because of this they are so focused 
They are so hard that they concern their lives with relevant things. The things that can benefit their families. The things that can benefit their ministry. Can I hear somebody say amen? Now I feel provoked by this verse. You once spoke in a vision to your royal ones, your chosen ones, your holy ones, and said, I have granted help to a warrior. Oh my God. I have granted help to a champion. I have exalted one chosen among the people. I feel I can preach it here. I want you to look at your neighbor. Yeah. 2020 help is on the way year 2020 God is gonna command the help of the angels the power the capability the anointing the grace his presence to empower you win that battle I prophesy that after today every battle you entangle in you are qualified as a winner. I see you winning on Monday to Sunday. I see you winning this year 2020 because you have the anointing of a champion. You shall win that battle in your family. Whatever has killed all the other people you shall stop it. You shall stop every curse. Poverty will end on you. And prosperity shall begin with it. I wish somebody could feel it. I prophesy that whatever had been a giant in your family, the Lord is empowering you to overcome it. The Lord is anointing you to overcome it. It was there for many years. But when it comes to you, what has come in this service to now, you shall overcome it. I prophesy whatever was standing as a barrier for the prosperity of your family tonight we kill it I said tonight we kill it whatever has stopped every party tonight we kill it we are receiving the spirit of a champion and I hear God say everybody in the house everybody in the room you are receiving a new strength. You are receiving a new power. You tried last year. And maybe you failed. But this year, you are not giving in. You are not giving up. You are not stopping until you finish. I prophesy those who started the business, you shall prosper. Those who started the ministry, they shall prosper. Those who want to go abroad, you shall travel. Those who want to marry, you shall marry. Those who want to build, you shall build. Those who started building, you shall finish your building. Those who started relationships, you shall finish your relationships. Once you spoke in a vision, once you spoke in a vision that I have chosen my royal people and I give power I give strength I give strength 
I give help to my champions, to my warriors. Do I have a champion in the house? Give your neighbor high five. And tell your neighbor, year 2020, I'm pushing it hard. Year 2020, I'm not stopping on the way. Year 2020, I shall achieve it. Year 2020, I shall have it. Year 2020, I shall overcome. Year 2020, I shall step there. Year 2020, I shall possess it. I receive it. For it's not by man nor by power. But by the Spirit of God. He will empower you to prosper. He will help you to prosper. He will help you to begin the ministry. He will help you to do that business. He will help you to win that battle. He will help you to succeed. He will help you to pray. He will help you to overcome. He will help you to overtake. He will help you to overpass. He will help you to take over. He will help you to Sit down. I feel so empowered this year. Omwaka guno mpuli ranga mpaki dua amani. Let me show something. Kambeko chiyankulaga. Genesis. Oluvereverie. Chapter thirty-one. Esola ya satu mu emu. And verse forty-one. Olunyiri luana mulumu. And f and forty-two. No luana mubiri. Listen. Ulira. Bible says. Bible you get away for twenty years. O Kumaremia Kab Makumia Vidi. I have worked in your household. Call it the Munyumba yo. Fourteen years. Emiaka Kuminena. For your two daughters. Nancoli Rabawalaba Babidi. And six years. Emiaka Mokaga. For your flocks. Nanunda Evisib of yo. And you have changed my wages. Ten times. Era wawanyi sa empera yange emirundi kumi. Hmm. How many years? Miaka meka. Twenty years. Emiaka makumi abiri. Fourteen years for the the girls. Kumi ne nanga koli daba wada babiri. And six years for the flock. Emiaka moka ganga koli daba kulunda bisiwo. And in those twenty years. Mumia keja makumi abiri. Laban. Labani. Manipulated Jacob. Ya dieka dieka Jacobo. Changed his salary. Na wanye sa omosala gwe. Ten times. Emeronde kome. Look at verse number 42. Tinuli noruwa na mobiri. Then we shall pray. Oro no tuna asaba. Except the God of my father. Oku jako katonda wa chitange. The God of Abraham. Katonda wa Ibrahimu. And the fear of Isaac Isaka had been with me. Let's read this one. This, this is what I wanted to finish with. If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had not been with me. Singa Certainly, now you would have sent me off empty handed. Look at the gospel here. But God has seen my affliction. Katonda, alabio kunyigiri siwa kuange. And my hard work. No kutoba kuange. No kufuba kuange. <laughs> my Bible says, and he rebuked you last night. Echirochecho na kunenya. But 
God has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuked thee last night. Can I prophesy? <laughs> The God of your fathers. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. And the God of Jacob. Because your enemies, your adversaries that are manipulating your wage. You worked for a ritual and they gave you a layer. You married a Rachel. You had a Rachel in the relationship. You had a Rachel on the wedding day. But in the marriage, you were seeing another thing. Oh my God. You worked for a big salary. But they gave you no nothing. What you worked for was changed. What you dreamed before was changed. What you started for was changed. Tonight, under the apostolic and prophetic anointing, as a champion, and because you were a champion, whatever they had changed, I changed it back. I said I turned it back. Whatever you worked for, you shall get it. Watch this verse. I said, except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac, you would have sent me empty handed. Let me make it more clear. Number 20. Number makumi abiri. Oh my God. Mm. Let me begin from number three, number two. You know, numbers, numbers, they have significance. Ziri nama kulu. Number two, number biri. means double. E number three, number satu. means trio. E tre satu. Trinity. E satu. Number five, number tano. means grace. E chisa. Number seven, number means perfection. E number nine, number muenda. means productivity. E number ten, number kumi. means completion. E number eleven, number kumi is the blessing of Abraham. Number 12 represents the 12 disciples and the 12 blessings of God. Number 15 means triple grace. Number 20 means settlement. Year 2020 you shall settle. I say you shall settle. 20 years past. A past. And Jacob was manipulated. But after 20 years, no more manipulation. Because it is a season of settlement. Are you hearing me? He says, You would have sent me empty handed. This year, you will not go empty handed. I said, You will not go empty handed. You are not working for free. You are not praying for free. Your sacrifice is not in effect. Your hands will be full. Your head will be overflowing. Your stores will be overflowing. Your account will be happy. I say your account will be heavy. Your family, family will be at peace with a blessing. Can I hear somebody say amen? It says, but God has seen 
my affliction. Alabye. Psalms 34. Verse 16. This poor man. This poor man. Cried unto the Lord. And the Lord heard his cry. And delivered him. From all of his affliction. God had, heard, had seen my affliction. And the labor of the works of my hands. And he has rebuked you. Tonight, I said tonight, God is going to rebuke your adversaries. He's going to rebuke the devourer. Are you hearing me? And you are rising as a champion. Lift up your hand and say yes. Mm. Stand up on your face. Aish. Mm. It is 20 years now. Kati wetoge na jiri miaka habiri. I've worked for you. Mku kone redegwe. Year number one to year number 19. Okuwa kumuwa kwa gusopa. Kupa mwaka kumina muenda. You manipulated. Wandie kadie koni onziva. You changed my salary. You Wach changed my wage. Wachuso musana guange mpera yange. I worked for a Rachel. You gave me a layer. When we agreed that the spotted animals will be mine. You changed. And you said I should take the spotless animals. When I took, when I was to be given the following year, the animals without to spot. You changed. You gave me another wage. Ten times. You have manipulated me. Except the God of my father. The God of Abraham. The God of Abraham. Uh, and the fear of Isaac. Had not been with me. You would have sent me away empty hand. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is my verse of the year. <laughs> this is my verse of the year. Except the Lord is the God of my father. Had not been with me. You would have sent me empty hands. But Katonda. has seen my affliction and my hard work and he and came in the night and rebuked you this night this month God is going to rebuke there are some people that God is going to give a command to bring money in your hands. There is somebody holding your promotion whom the Lord is going to rebuke until he releases your promotion. There is somebody sitting in your position sitting in your place May the Lord rebuke them. God is going to rebuke everybody. And everything that has been stealing from you. Lift up your hands above your head. Let the worship team come over here. We come to pray. 
Because we are still in the season of prayer. A capro to lakayada. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you. But me, God must rebuke my laban. I don't know about you. God must rebuke your laban. Laban must release your money. Laban must release your finances. Laban must release what belongs to you. Lift up your hands above your head. Are you ready for this? As we worship this song, I want you to prepare yourself. We are going to pray. I want you to pray for yourself. Because you are a champion. You are going to win this battle for yourself. Tonight, we are going to win this battle. The battle in your family, the battle in your marriage, the battle in your relationship, the battle in your career, the battle in your dreams, the battle in your church, the battle in your marriage. We're gonna win it tonight. We receive the spirit of a champion. Jolly, Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands above your head. This time, don't take it as a joking time. Something must be done tonight. Are you ready for the lift up your hands? I want us to pray. I wish I was here could also, or could already be in prayer. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you power to overcome that 
that battle you are chosen for a specific battle in your city a specific battle in your generation a specific battle in your nation a specific battle in your family win it win it right now luwangule luwangule kati luwangule kati tuwangule talo mori nyari ya mkamafe yesu gena maso shaba marata kezi kata ya reba marodo zika seketeleka wangula roboko zika ya waliwe talo zo wangula eta lize edwa dozo wangula mori nyari ya mkamafe yesu waliwe talo zo wangula eta lize oru te tiri ya kenda duluwana tiri ya kenda duluwana we wane ko wangule we wane ko wangule wali lulu wangula kosia le zika tarabo kosi ketele baba boya katele katele Zaya <laughs> Makoko Reketaya mambo zikaya Lesekele sariya mama mama Marando zokaya mama Sato na kogolo kosa Ako jama kogo Ako doza na balangira Muri nyari ya mkama fe yesu Ako vila makuwa gata wate Muri nyari ya yesu Marando zika Marade yabo zikaya Aka mjekwe kwa alonze Marando Likata lama yako Ako wade mwenye Ako wade mbavo Ako wade man Ako wade osobo zip Ova yu Ova yu mwabunya Ova yu Ova yu Ova yu Jari ya kuteka Jari ya kukweka Jari ya kusivira Ova yu Maraba mozika ya nereba Lo sakata ya makande Rika toro mokori ya bababababa Marandele ya bababa Rika rama ya nde ya nereba Lo kori ya bababababa Ya randa ya Omodilo Kwa kocha Kwa setani Omodilo Kwa kocha kwa mwabe Rika mozi ya Rabo hosika baba Marande kaya mama moza Rita lala baba Rika ya mando lobo kosia Riba baba babo zina Lift up your hands Yimushe mikono jo We have another one of prayer that we are going to pray Nina yesa ni ndana jetugendo kusawa May the Lord rebuke your laban Nika katonda nyenyena bani wo May God rebuke your laban Katonda nyenyena bani wo but some of you, you don't know them. But God knows them. Let God rebuke your labor. Are you ready for this? Lift up your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. Speak louder. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. With your mighty hand. With your capability. Rebuke my labor. Rebuke my laban Rebuke my laban Pray, 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 pray Yes 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 Kwange, homo yo omuri, homo yo wenduate, muri nyari ya yesu, muri yo makoria, lo ria baba baba, setele kaya dede baba baba, marando soko taya, marande keria baba baba baba, horabo saya, 
Itala, no Rambo Cosia, Lisekelekaya, my God, my God, Loko Ramaya Kaya, we come again Nesta. Oh my God, Bible says every plant that was not planted my father shall be uprooted. We are pruda every evil. We are pruda every evil in our clan, in our families, everybody. Heavy <laughs> Papa Mokisa Guange, Morinaria Yesu, Oba Londola, Oba Sikiriza, Oba Manama Man, Morinaria Yesu, Marabos. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands above your head. When came Konojo Aguro Motuego, bring this brother here, this Munde, brother here. Munde te that brother. Oh, yo. Yeah, bring that one, yeah. Momolete, oh, yo. And bring this sister to this one here. No, no, man, you know, Momolete. They come over here. Momolete. Yes. Yes, Lord. A battle Lutalo. must be Lutekedua. overcome. Kuangurua. Now. Kati. Lift up your hands. Jesus. There is yes. somebody here. You have been fighting an inner battle. You've been fighting it alone. You need a divine help. You need a divine help. You are tired. You tired. You need a divine help. You also come here. Come and join these people. You tired. And you need a divine help in that battle. Because without God's help, you cannot win it. Tonight, heaven is ready to empower you.